Speaking of another shocker of the local variety, head to Charlottesville now. Virginia Cavaliers hosting William and Mary in the first. Virginia's third play from scrimmage. Vic Hall starting at quarterback, and he does what people were expecting, scrambling for a 34-yard touchdown. Who's up seven early, but Hall would only line up under center for two more drives. Later in the first, the tribe on the five, R.J. Archer rolls out. He's going to find his tight end in the back of the end zone, and we are tied at seven after one. In the second, Jamil Sewell in at quarterback, and he sneaks in from eight yards out. Cavs lead 14 to 13 at the half. After a string of field goals for the Tribe, Virginia finds itself trailing by five in the fourth. This isn't going to help. Sewell throws it right to B.W. Webb, and he takes it 50 yards to the house. William & Mary shocks the Cavaliers in week one, 26-14 interceptions in the game. That's not good news for the ACC, and this certainly isn't. Virginia against William & Mary. William & Mary not, by the way, coached by Lewis Holtz anymore. <laughs> Jamil Sewell is back. He is picked up by B.W. Webb. B.W. means bad way for Virginia. 26 to 14. Saturday's ultimate matchup is brought to you by OtterTrader.com, and it's the two FCS schools that did get the job done versus a school from a Big Six Conference Saturday. William & Mary shot Virginia 26-14 for their first win versus an ACC team in 23 years. And defending FCS champs Richmond beat Duke 24-16 in Durham. All right, it is that time, Kim. You know what time it is. Top cuts. Marlins win 9-5. Number five, William and Mary against Virginia and B.W. Webb. Third pick of the game, and he's going all the way. How about Bo Jackson style? Don't stop, kid. Don't stop. Right into the tunnel. William and Mary, the big upset, 26-14.